Hey everybody, my name is Hydric on the Loop Up, but you knew that already. Heh, <laughs> uh, no. Hey everybody, it's Hydric on the Loop Up. That's how we're gonna say it. We're not Josh Jepson, and we're not going to fight you because we don't want to waste time with you. Last time, we talked to Yumos and learned that we had to go to this area, Aegon Wastes, and restore the, the light from Dark Aether, or whatever. Uh, if you just scan this, you'll notice that it's broken right there. Uh, just hit it with a missile, and it'll blow up. Might blow up with a power beam also, I'm not sure, charge beam. Ah, uh, sand bats. If you haven't scanned them yet, you can just scan them. I'd suggest shooting them before you walk across this, because they will knock you off if you're not careful. There is some more lore over here, but we can't scan that kind yet, because it's not violet, and we can only scan violet lore. Uh, how do I get up there? Oh, yeah. More sand bats. Uh, oh, let's scan these things. Oh, we also have to scan them. Uh, Aegon Bear Pods. Oh, I was reading it like bear, but it's bearer. <clears throat> so, what are these things? These things are interesting, but we won't access them for quite a long time. Looks like there was something blue over there. Whoa, that was a close one. Kind of dark in this area. Leave that of the sun is on the screen. Uh, I can't get through there yet. So let's just continue on over here. Scan these crates and what? That sounds like space pirate music from Metroid Prime 1. Could it be? It is! Okay, so we're already into space pirates, so make sure you scan them. They're a new creature. Pirate Trooper. They really nerfed them in this because they're so early. A couple charge shots. Two charge shots kill them. I also think two missiles kill them. Can I hit him? Thank you. I don't try to climb this with them because you will just be knocked down and it'll be really irritating. Where is the last one? Oh, I hear it. Oh, there it is. Hello. Oh. Ha ha. So there's another new enemy over here. It's called the Brizgear. Uh, Brizgy, whatever you call it. I don't even know what some of these names are. Ooh, new crates. I don't know we've seen those before. In here, there should be some more sand grass, in case you haven't scanned it yet. Which is really stupid to have to scan the sand grass, but... Um, actually, I think we should go up here quickly, because I think there is something we can get. Ah, uh, we can't make that jump. Oh, wait, but we can make this one. Uh, and can we just go around it and get that red door? It looks like we can. Has to be a uh, missile, apparently. Climb up here. And what is this room? Is it a map room? Uh, no, I don't think I want to be here yet. Scan these while they're still up there. They're shriek bats, just like in the old game. But in this game, they're actually smarter. If you step down here, they'll go one at a time in order to maximize the damage. Yeah, but I'm not supposed to be here yet, I don't think. Two separate uh, sentences, I don't think I'm supposed to be here, and I don't think. But you knew that already. Huh. So let's just go into this morph ball hole. Man, they are really using these cannons. <laughs> Ah, dead Luminoff. Scan you, and right behind you, there's a missile expansion! Oh, goody. Be careful not to roll onto that thing. And again, be careful not to roll onto it. Okay. Or you could just ride up to that, to that, 
and roll down to the middle and then come out. You don't have, but that would take a lot longer. <clears throat> um, yes, we're supposed to be here, but I don't want to be here. Uh, you're gonna want to take your scanning visor out and scan this stuff. You don't need to. There is something in here that's gonna crawl around that you are going to want to scan because it will be very difficult to find it later in the game. Where is it? I just bumped my microphone with my finger. Ah, uh, that's the morph ball thing. Looks like it. This room is pretty crazy. Uh, well, let's, let's just go over here and see what this is. This looks pretty cool. A portal to dark aether. Interesting. Uh, so we can't use that right now, but. And we can't do that either, so we have to go find some morph ball bombs. I thought we had morph ball bombs. Um, okay, well, we're in the wrong area. Yay! I knew we weren't supposed to be here yet. Um, can I get out? No, I don't think I can. Oh, that's that's the save rooms area thing. That's where we came through when we had the save room. Remember that? Save room, I think? I don't know. So apparently I was right when I was going to do the missile door. Dead Luminoth! Still glad I came this way because we get a new missile expansion and we probably will need it if I can remember if it's the right boss for the Morph Ball Bombs. And spoilers, we have a boss for the Morph Ball Bombs. Oh, it's blue. Oh, that was bright. Uh, these things you can only kill with missiles. And war wasps, thank you. Oh wait, are those war wasps? Yes, they are. Okay. They look like dark war wasps. Are there dark war wasps? I can't remember. Pretty sure there's pretty much everything dark in this game. This game is a very dark game. Can't access there. Ow! Fifty nine health, oh no. Okay. Shriek bats. Yeah, these are really strategic street shriek bats. And if I can remember what Okay, yeah, we're supposed to be here. But what's over here? Uh crates. Oh, we can't break that that's sandstone. Isn't it? Oh, oh, Talark Alloy is um, Morph Ball Bombs. Okay, let's just go where we're supposed to go. Can we open that door? Yes. Now let's just run up to the door. Like, um, whoa! Hello. Whoa, that wasn't very... I thought this was the same thing. But apparently it's Alpha Sand Digger. Oh, and there are more things. Yeah, you're gonna want to scan that really quickly because there's only one in the game, I think. And now it's a dark alpha sand digger. But it's not called that, it's called the Bomb Guardian. Bomb Guardian. Uh, you're just gonna hit it in the mouth when it glows. Or the butt. That's weird. That's its mouth. Oh. Yeah, I get it now. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, my gosh. This is really a cool fight, I have to say. Cool way to get morph ball bombs. From a boss that actually uses them. That's why I like the Metroid Prime 2. Because in Metroid Prime, you, don't, you get stuff from enemies that don't even use the power. I mean, what's the point in them if they don't use the power? I mean, with all these guardian things that actually use the power you're getting it's so much fun my favorite boss has got to be the spider you know what I'm talking about well if you if you probably know we're gonna get spider ball eventually and it's pro you probably also know it's gonna be the spider guardian but the Sparty spider guardian boss fight is so much fun can't wait to do that boss fight that is so awesome but we don't get that for a while ow bomb hurting me please hit him in the butt Please hit him in the rear. Thank you. 
And he's dead. That was it. And what did we get from the bomb guardian? You may ask. A purple Samus thing. And that is no one knows. Looks kinda like a fist. Actually no, it looks nothing like a fist. I'm just I don't even know. But where our Morphall looks cooler now. And Samus is like Yes. Um, we came in that way over there, so let's go this way. That's Taloc Alloy because you need to break it down with more ball. That doesn't even make sense. But the door is still open because we opened it. And what could this be? Once you get more fall bomb and you're playing on the Wii version, all you have to do is flick the Wii remote upward or in any direction actually, and the more fall will jump. I think in any direction, right? No, upward. Huh, that's weird. It's cool how they got it to function that way. What is this? Oh my gosh, we've already scanned it. That's amazing. But this, that, oh, I am scanning the right thing. It looks like a. Oh, it's a dead Luminoth. Okay. I was I thought it looked like something else. What is this? Wow, that looks so amazing. And it's spinning. Okay, so... Let's scan this. Not that. This. And... What do I have to do to it? Um, oh, duh. Scan this thing. Welcome. I am Aisha, Sentinel of Aegon Temple. This message survives my death as guidance to one who would fight the Ing. A portal to Dark Aether lies nearby. With it, you can travel to this land's shadow. You must locate a dark temple, a twisted mockery of the sacred place. Inside, you will find the energy controller you seek. The temple door is held fast by three locks. The keys for the locks are hidden throughout that dark land. Your search will be difficult. Even the very air of Dark Aether is dangerous and can cripple the strongest of warriors. In our past struggles with the Ing, we placed a series of light crystals throughout their world. They remain today. These crystals create safe areas that will protect you from the harmful atmosphere of the Dark World. I have updated your translator module. You can access devices and doors coated with amber holograms. More lands are open to explore. When you have taken the energy from the Dark Temple, return here at once. May the Light of Aether serve you well. Energy fully replenished. Okay. So, thank you, Isha. And I'm so sorry for your demise. So, now we've got to go to that portal we saw before. And we couldn't do because we had a... We didn't have Morpho Bombs. So, yeah. Isha is apparently British. I don't know. Whatever. My serious voice is British. I'm, I'm not even... I don't even think I have any... I've got a little French in me, but... I, I don't know. <laughs> Whenever I sound, I'm trying to act serious, I always have a British accent. And we got some war wasps. You know, I think my dad's actually British. I don't know. 
I don't know what percentage of British I am. I, I don't even know. But I, um, I I can do a pretty good impersonation if I, I think. You guys are probably like, you suck. But those are trolls, and trolls are mean. Those are very mean. Oh, hi, Amber! That's a door coding thing. Whoa, that was close. Let's read this. Okay, so the gate will unlock the door. Yay, door. Open and inside we'll just find a missile expansion. 20 missiles! And there are 255 missiles in the game. Now, you may wonder, oh, why the heck are there 255 missiles in the game? And after Metro Prime 1 had 250 missiles, apparently they have a new power-up in this game called... I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it's a missile power-up, and apparently this power-up has to give you five missiles. Meaning that, if they wanted to have 100% of collectibles, 100 collectibles, so you have 1% each collection, they have to add the same amount of missiles. Meaning that, it will be 255 missiles. How about either you give us an extra power bomb and take, um, and give us fewer when we get them, or how about, oh, you don't give us five missiles from that missile expansion power-up thing? Hmm. I don't think they thought that through. So yeah, for the rest of the Metroid Prime games, we are going to have 255 missiles as a max instead of 250. No idea why. And now we've got Dark Pirate Troopers, which is so cool. That is probably one of the coolest pirate I've ever seen. Not that thing. I don't, I don't want to scan that. And I'm really running low on health, so I should probably stop talking and start fighting with missiles that I have 200, that will have 255 of them. And can we kill this thing? Oh, blue. That, that's 50. These things are pretty tough. Oh my gosh. Wow! <laughs> well... That was pretty tough. And there's some amber lore over here, hidden behind that wall thing. Recording to logbook. <sighs> Can we climb up here and... S nope, we can't do anything with that yet. So let's just bomb this. Can we get into the thing? Can we get into the thing? Thank you. Oh, it's a little morph ball elevator. Oh, it's so cute. And I think this is so much fun to just to ride up in it and... I don't know, because I, I used to play with Rockenbach when I was little. And I always like to watch the little balls roll up the Rockenbach. I don't even know. Yes, I was weird like that. And those are Dark War Wasps, right? Please tell me I'm right, because I couldn't stand to be wrong anymore. They look very dark. But come on, they're like bleeding purple. They have purple smoke following them. How can they not be dark? Gosh. Uh, you're going to want to stand right here and... Right there. Scan that. Because it will be very irritating to find, since most of it will be in more Morph Ball passageways. This is the one area you can find it. There are a couple others, but it's very difficult to find. And now we get to ride up the little thing. I don't know but about you, but that looks like spider ball track stuff that's in the background from where we are. But it's actually not. It looks like it, but I don't know. It's just a pattern for the background. If you want a cool background, you couldn't just make me think about spider ball. How about you make me think about, oh, squares? But yeah, you can't kill the pill bugs, but they're pretty, pretty helpless if you just... Oh, actually, you can kill them with a uh, bomb. I meant you can't kill them with the um, beam. They're pretty easy to kill. They're not even difficult. In fact.
Wow, that's pretty cool, and we're out of Morph Ball instantaneously. Bright! 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 Wow, that's pretty bright. Can we scan this? So this is Dark Aether, and we're in the same room we were, you can just hit 2 to go to the Light World, and you can see they're not the exact same maps, um, but it's pretty cool. I like the thing, and P means portal, in case you were wondering. There's a bunch of stuff to scan here, uh, blade pod, and stuff, but the thing with Dark Aether is the atmosphere is poisonous. It's acidic and the second you come out of it your HP will drop really fast so you're gonna want to run to each of these portals these portals are replenish your HP by one every couple seconds but uh, you drop a lot more than that in the atmosphere so be careful watch actually it's not that bad I would have thought it'd be a little worse this is the light crystal and it provides light energy. Of course, since we have very low energy here, they're going to give us a lot of crystals. Uh, this thing over here is a crystal that's not uh, a light beacon, but it's not working. If we shoot it with our power shot, it will work. But apparently it's the same exact thing. Yeah, but it goes pretty fast, and those light beacons do not always stay there. Light crystal... So be be quick here. You're gonna, not going to want to take your time. You're going to want to rush through it. And that will also, also, yes, also, also open in Light Aether, as you saw in that little hologram thing. My device has been activated back on Aether. Can I turn that off, please? That is getting really annoying. Here, let me see if I can actually turn any of this text off. Um, doesn't look like it. Anything on the this one? Oh wait, there's options. Um, controls, no visors, maybe display. Bonus credits, hints. Oh, hint system. Definitely want that off. Oh no, definitely no. Restore defaults. I oh well, apparently it's. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Let's just go through here. Rush as fast as you can. Uh, that's right over there, an enemy. And yes, you have to fight enemies here. This is called a inglet. It's a baby ing, and they're not that bad, but they do do some damage. And since you're constantly taking damage in the environment, they can be rather irritating. One charge shot takes them out, and they do not do much damage to you. But that is an inglet right there. They will turn into some sludge, but you can still hit them in sludge form. Okay... Missile door. Are we coming up to a save station soon? Actually, I think this room is a save. Yep, it is. Aw, oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Ing, ing, inglet, inglet, inglet. But that time has come. Time for us to kill that inglet. And that inglet. So, yes. Thank you all for watching. Remember, please subscribe. This has been Let's Play Metroid Prime 2, Echoes. Thank you all for watching, and 
goodbye.